are you looking for a software that is really good and really efficient for presentations? Well, I guess you all know the answer. It is Microsoft PowerPoint. Indeed. And throughout this course, we have got 63 lessons and you have an opportunity to become a PowerPoint, PowerPoint Pro, Pro with, with us. us. This is Suhaima Mustafa and myself, Safwan Mustafa, and we are the, the Dynamic, Dynamic Siblings. So first of all, we are going to see our really short one-line history on PowerPoint. Okay. So let's see that. Who created Microsoft PowerPoint? Do you know the answer? Well, I do. Microsoft PowerPoint was created by Robert Gaskins and Dennis Austin. You're right. Okay, that's great. Now, without wasting any more time, we're going to jump into the uses of Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay. So, now comes the uses. So first is education. Sometimes we have projects to make. We have got some assignments, which we have to do using PowerPoint, well, right? I also face this type of problem. So I had to make PowerPoint presentations as well. Okay, you're right. So if your presentation is not professional or if it's not eye-catching, then you can't actually impress your teachers, your classmates, right? Of course. Okay, so next is marketing. Well, for marketing, the same thing applies. When you're doing business, then if your presentations are not eye-catching or elegant, then you won't be able to win your customer's heart. That's why right. making PowerPoint presentations well and beautifully is very, very, very important. You're absolutely correct. And next we have business, right? So business, uh, well, business actually same thing applies again. So basically, uh, when you are actually dealing with uh, dealers, so that time when you want to make big deals, you have to give a really good presentation. And if your presentation has to be at a certain level, it has to be really good. It has to be professional. Uh, I was about to say that actually. And if it's not elegant or attractive, then you know, you are not going to be successful in business. Of course. Never ever. Of course. Next comes resume. Microsoft Word would be the most recommended software for making resumes and CVs. Mm -hmm. But PowerPoint is actually a very, very good option. Well, why? because it has many beautiful and colorful templates for you to choose from and maybe it is the right one for your resume. That's why Microsoft, knowing Microsoft PowerPoint is very, very important again. So a quiz for you. Which software has more templates? Word or PowerPoint? Basically, she already told the answer, right? PowerPoint definitely has more templates than what 100 and uh, you may think that the ratio of the page or the slide is 16 inch to 9 but you can actually reverse it and make it a four size paper and customize it for your resume so powerpoint is also not a bad option of course 100 percent. and next but not the least of course it's analysis analysis so when you have to, let's say, make some comparisons between, let's say I want to make a comparison between 2021 and 2022. So PowerPoint has lots of things to offer, like charts. So And also bars. Yeah, bars and charts, yeah. actually. So bars and charts will help you to show your statistical data. In graphical form. In visual display. Yes. So... Uh, this, what this will do is actually it will give your presentation a nicer look. Of course. So, so 
that's the end of the applications of PowerPoint. Well, right. it can also be used in many, many other fields. Well, these are few of the important ones. So now comes a question. Why is PowerPoint the most recommended presentation software? PowerPoint is the most recommended presentation software for its visual impact abilities. With hundreds of templates to offer and a myriad of options to choose from, it is easier for us to make our presentations look more elegant and beautiful. You are absolutely correct. And next comes customizable themes and backgrounds. Now we have talked about it uh, a thousand times in this video today. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> themes and backgrounds, basically what you can do in different websites you can download the templates it's lesson number five right yeah it's lesson is it lesson five or i don't remember oh uh, well it's one of the lessons actually so you are going to you have to find out by watching the next videos actually, actually. so you can download different templates from the web and there are some built-in templates present in microsoft powerpoint and the most important thing is it's customizable. Of course. You can edit, you can change the colors, you can change the placements, and altogether it gives you a really good output. Before we move to the next point, I want to make a confession. Okay. Well, Microsoft PowerPoint is my favorite application program software in the Microsoft Office suite, actually. Well, mine is a second is Microsoft PowerPoint. <laughs> so favorite, my favorite is Excel. So I also made the confession. But I love Microsoft PowerPoint a lot. So come to the next point. Okay. The next point is collaboration. Right. Well, when you are giving a presentation, you of course need it to be interactive so that your other team members can understand. So Microsoft PowerPoint is not lacking behind here as well. It makes your presentations interactive with the help of these backgrounds and themes, and of course, since they are customizable. Okay. Okay. So next comes interlinking with other applications. So in lesson 27 or 29, I believe, so I have made a video interlinking Paint and PowerPoint. Yeah. So basically, we were talking about bars and charts, right? Yes. So you definitely know that Excel has a big role to play. Hmm, of course. When you it work does. with bars and charts, it actually helps you interlink Excel with PowerPoint too. Yeah, you can interlink Word with Excel, Excel with Word, then Word with PowerPoint, Excel with PowerPoint. And even you can interlink Paint and Photoshop with PowerPoint too. Illustrator as well. Yes, yeah, such a versatile So many software. things. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do anything you want to just to make your presentation a winning presentation. Yes. Now I believe you have understood why it is the most recommended presentation software. So with that being said, we, the Dynamic Siblings, are going to sign off from this video. See you in the next video, and we are going to learn about open and save Microsoft PowerPoint document. Okay, until next time, bye-bye. Hello everyone. Hope you are all in good health and spirit and are willing to learn something new today. So this is Suhaima Mustafa, your learning coach for this lesson. Today's lesson I have divided into two parts. Number one, how to open a Microsoft PowerPoint document and also number two, how to save a Microsoft PowerPoint document. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now, for opening a Microsoft PowerPoint document, the process is very, very simple. All you have to do is put your cursor on the Microsoft PowerPoint logo here and give a single click and look. You will see a total different interface. This is actually the PowerPoint interface and you have already entered PowerPoint. Here it's written good evening because it's 11.56 at my country right now. 
Okay. Now, as you can see here, we can see blank presentation, welcome to PowerPoint, bring your presentations, etc. Uh, I am sure you guys are willing to go there, but for now, let's skip those. We will talk about these in the later lessons. Now, let's go with the blank presentation. With a single click, I have pressed it and look, our job is done. We have successfully learned how to open a Microsoft PowerPoint document. Isn't it very simple? Let me know. Now, I will do some magic. With the snap of my fingers, you will see a different PowerPoint document. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, my magic has become successful, but please, my request to you is that don't try it at home because you guys are not magicians like me, so <laughs> don't try it. Let's get back to studies now. For our second thing, we have to know how to save a PowerPoint file. You may ask me, why do we need to save it? Because, of course, when you do something, definitely want to look at it for your further use or further recommendations. So, of course, saving it is very, very important. And therefore, we will see three ways how to save PowerPoint on your device. Okay, so let's get started. All you have to do is go to the file option here and press it and you will see this home new open info etc you will go to save as here and as you can see here it's written this pc at a place browse desktop now you can save it to your desktop directly like this you can name it or you can do browsing and do it like this okay now, the normal way of how people save their PowerPoint document is in this format, PowerPoint presentation. And you can add a name, for example, we, I will say PowerPoint here. And I'm gonna save it on my desktop. See, my job is done. Now you can see I've already saved it here. Now, I'm sure your Brilliant brains would definitely want to go for other options and not follow the stereotype. And of course, you guys would definitely want to break the stereotype. And for this, PowerPoint has created an option for you. Many, many different options. See, here this is a small arrow out here. We are going to press it and look at this. There are so many things. So there are so many ways in which you can save a PowerPoint file. But for now, we will save it in JPEG format. Okay, so it's here. Look at this. I'm going to save it on my desktop as usual. Save. Now this thing will come. You will just press just this one or it's up to you. You can also save all slides if you have many more slides. We will talk about this in the later lessons. So stay tuned. I'm going to press just this one now. And look at this. This one is saved as a picture format. Now, I'm sure this question would definitely come to your mind. What is JPG? It's actually a picture, okay? The next way in which we are going to say PowerPoint is PDF. Now, of course, uh, you don't want to edit your PowerPoint anymore and you want it to be constant and prevent it from editing. So, of course, you would definitely want to save it as PDF. Okay, so PowerPoint also gives an option to save it as PDF, which is here, the fourth point. You can save it as PDF. I will show, I will write something different for your convenience. Let's write PDF. Look, it's saved as a PDF format. Nice, right? Now we are going to save it as a J format and to do this we are going to again press browse and look GIF is here right before 
Jip EG. So we're gonna press it and I'm gonna write Jip for you. Okay? Boom! It's saved as a JIP format. Now you might ask me that why GIF and JPG are two different forms when you can see both of them as pictures. Actually, I've not added any animation here, so I can't show you the difference right now. But we, when we will talk about animations, we will definitely get to know the difference. So let's keep this discussion for the later lesson. Okay? So I hope that you have liked this lesson and learned how to open and save PowerPoint on your device. Uh, for now, that's it. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Assalamualaikum.